it's time for another exciting episode of Roy's Retro Review, or I, Roy Manin, to review older video games in my spare time for entertainment value. And today's game is Super Mario RPG, originally released for the SNES back in 1996. Uh, so the story of Super Mario RPG starts off like any Mario game. Uh, Princess Peach is kidnapped by Bowser. Mario goes to save Princess. Mario beats Bowser. However, right before he's able to, you know, fully claim victory, a giant sword falls out of the sky. And this is where the main antagonist of the game comes in, this uh, Smitty, who is the leader of the Smitty game, Gang, a group of evil people from another dimension who want world domination over, over the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Mario must travel throughout the land collecting uh, star pieces in order to uh, fix up the star rod so they can get rid of the Smitty Gain and save the world. Uh, the story of Super Mario RPG is actually really good. I really enjoy the uh, storyline of this one. It's also, this is also, just kind of side, this is also my first encounter with Square. This is the first game I ever played that was made by Square. Before then, I had no idea who they are. And even then, I didn't get to play it. Back when this originally came out, I didn't have an SNES. I, I was a Genesis kid. That's just how that was. So I had to play this over at a friend's house who had it for a little bit. Uh, I believe he rented it and I was over there when he was playing it. So we, I, I didn't get to play the full thing. I didn't get to play it until I think I got the third or fourth star piece. Um, but overall, the characters are all very... Uh, quirky and funny to watch. Uh, Mario, uh, I forget, there's the tadpole guy, or Cloud Boy who thinks he's a tadpole. There's a doll you get. And this is also the first time you actually get to include Bowser in uh, the good guy areas, because he does join you to help uh, save the world in this one. And I always, you know, I like Bowser. I, did, I do like how he's portrayed in this game very, very much, because I think he's hilarious. You also get Princess Peach, and those are the playable party members that you get. Now, so, start like I said, story wise is great, so let's get into the gameplay since I'm kind of going there. Uh, so, the gameplay is very, uh, tur it's turn, turn based, well, no, it's actually not turn based, it's, uh, yeah, it's turn based, it's a you go, then they go. So anyway, uh, you have special attack, which uses up flower points, and you can do, like, special attacks like fireball, or, uh, throw things, or whatever, each character has kind of their own list of specialties that they do. Uh, there's just a normal attack where you punch them, uh, defend, and items. Well, no, there's no defend. Defend comes later. Anyway, uh, so as you uh, fight, you can, uh, if you hit the button, or the, uh, I think attack button, at the right time, during an attack or defense position, they will either do a lot more damage, or they will negate more damage. This is very useful, because it, you know negates a lot of damage so you don't have to worry about healing as much and you can get battles to go on a lot longer especially for like the more damaging attacks and that's always very important so anyway as you uh beat up people you gain experience when you level up and that boosts their stats every time they level up you do get to choose kind of a bonus stat that you want to improve on a character uh whether it's uh magic attack normal attack or life whatever you can choose one and that helps you specialize kind of each character, which is very nice because, once again, I did like specializing uh, each character in kind of a different area. That way I had a base covered. Um, and it was very nice. So that's the, that's the main uh, gameplay element. There's not a whole lot of other gameplay elements other than uh, you do jump around the world like Mario. There's a little chest that you open by jumping on them. And stuff like that it's very mario s they did a really good job of keeping the essence of mario alive in this one and it's very enjoyable and the nice thing about this one is where i didn't get to play this one a month or a whole lot when it originally came out like i said i did get to play the games that it spawned uh those two being paper mario and the mario and luigi series those two games are pretty much exactly the same as this one although i do like this one a little better it's a little bit more uh Gameplay mechanics are a little bit better, in my opinion, and the story is, I think, a little better than the other two. But the essence of Super Mario RPG does la live some a little bit in uh, those two franchises that Mar Mar or, uh, Mario, yeah, Mario and Nintendo have kind of spawned off this one. Um, so, like I said, this is my first. This is also one of my first RPGs. Uh, I didn't really know what an RPG was back then, 
and I still don't really see how this one was an RPG back then. Now I do, and playing this one, it makes complete sense, and I love it. But back then, you know, it was, it was a fun game back then. I did enjoy it, and I did wish I kind of got to complete the entirety of the game back then. And it's also one of the reasons I wish I had an SNES when I was a kid. There's a lot of good games I missed on the SNES that had to go over to a friend's house if I wanted to play them, and he had to have them. Uh, so, I kind of miss that, but this is by far one of the greatest Mario RPGs to date, in my opinion, still. So with that, I'll get on to the re uh, review. So here at Ru or, uh, Roy's Retro Review, I don't use a uh, number point system because I don't like doing math and figuring out numbers and values and stuff for different aspects of the game. Instead, I use uh, what I call the Nostalgia Factor. It's broken down into four parts. There's Classic, which means that the game is great still. Back then it was great or, you know, it was okay. It could even be bad, and I'm playing it now, and I think it's, you know, I, I now understand what I was missing, and I've, you know, stuff like that, but it's generally a game I think everybody should go play if you haven't, and it's still worth your time, even though it's an older game. I, I would still spend the money to, you know, buy an HD copy of it if it made one, or, you know, off a virtual console or something. Uh, fond Memories is the next category down. That means, you know, I enjoy playing the game. It's fun. However... You know, it's not the greatest game on the planet. I just remember, you know, I have fun playing it every now and then. But if I were to play it today, I'd probably, you know, go, meh. And just kind of pass it over, you know. It was a good once over. But, you know, I do enjoy multiple playthroughs if it gets this category. I remember it being better is exactly what it sounds like. It means, you know, back in the day, I thought this game was great. Uh, I loved it. I'm playing it now. And I'm wondering what the heck I saw in it and trying to figure out why I liked it. But the last category is a piece of crap means the game was a piece of crap back then, or even was good, and now I'm playing it and it's a piece of crap now. More likely it's probably a piece of crap back then too, but the point is, it's a bad game. If you played it back when it came out, I'm sorry. If you haven't, stay away from it. You do not want to go through the torture that the game will provide you. It's just not worth this unless you're, you know, sadist or something, and I would use this as a torture. So anyway, uh, Super Mario RPG, I give a classic rating to. I think it's probably one of the all-time best RPGs to ever come out. It's definitely one of the best Mario games in my opinion. And like I said, it's Square at its best. For those of you who do not like Square Enix these days, if you go back to the good old Square days like when this was made, they're a lot better. And Super Mario RPG I think is one of the pinnacle, their like cornerstone games that they made. So that's it. Thanks for listening to this episode and stay tuned next week for another great episode where I will probably be doing um i'm trying to think about console oh probably uh, older pc game was what i was thinking of doing next so that's that and thanks for listening and always remember to uh, keep those gaming memories alive
Thank <laughs> you. 